Today I'm reviewing the best product Apple has ever produced. This is Research Kit. It is a software development program for developing medical data collection apps. It lets researchers conduct studies via the data generated by your phone. So you opt in, you see and control which data will be collected. The data goes directly to the research institution. Apple never sees it. They never encounter the data. Now, to understand why this is such a big deal, it helps to understand how medical studies used to be conducted. So first of all, you got to get participants who have the disease you're studying. So that means usually putting out flyers or taking out ads or sending letters. Okay, cut to the research kit apps. First of all, you answer survey questions each day. The asthma one says, did you use your inhaler today? Did you remember to take your meds? And it collects automatic data from the phone's sensors, the GPS, the microphone, the camera, and so on. To give you the idea, we visited Dr. Eric Schott of Mount Sinai Hospital's Icon Institute. His team wrote the Asthma Health app. How would conducting this study differ in the research kit world? It's like a, just an amazing number of differences, so you can just interrupt me if I'm <laughs> going off too long. You're lucky if over the course of several years you can get three, five hundred. If you're super lucky, over the course of many years, maybe a thousand people enrolled in the study. But in the first three days of this app being online, 3,500 were enrolled in the study. And that's in under three days. Like, it's just an astonishing, uh, like, just blew us away. The data has already started flowing in, right? The data absolutely have already started uh, flowing in. This is sort of a early version dashboard we have just to try to help get our heads around the data. You already see some interesting patterns occur. Breakdown by ethnicities. Do we see biases emerging there? Education levels, like smoking status. And here you can start looking at all the different types of medications. So here we're looking at a summary of what the user has, has put in as they believe caused uh, certain asthma attacks that they have. Oh, look at that. Cold, exercise, extreme heat. When you look in specific geographic regions like New York and New Jersey, uh, all of a sudden you see anger uh, as one of the <laughs> causes. Of, so whereas nationwide, that anger isn't significant enough to <laughs> pop up, but it's really interesting that on the East Coast, the anger causes stress response and can slide you into a, a bad state. That's hilarious. Yeah, so, it's, uh, so those sorts of things are, you know, super interesting. And that's not even scratching the surface yet. We hope to learn from this data, right, how can we better manage a patient's condition and build those kinds of models uh, that are predictive and can help the physician or medical system, health system intervene in the patient's uh, life sooner rather than uh, when they're in the emergency room in a catastrophic uh, state. Apple worked with five institutions to develop a first wave of research kit apps. You can participate in most of these studies even if you don't have the disease. Your data is helpful as a control. So why did Apple go to all this trouble and expense to develop research kit? Well, obviously, it's to sell more iPhones, right? Well, no, that's the thing. They're making it open source. Anyone can take this software and use it for their own ends. Microsoft, Google, Samsung. You can love Apple or you can hate it but you gotta hand it to them this time. Research Kit has a real shot at making everybody's lives better and longer.